On this edition of the Zulu 24 Spotlight, we're talking about field training exercise broadsword. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's jump right into it. So FTX broadsword or field training exercise broadsword uh, is going to be on April 9th, 2022. The location is a training facility uh, near Stillwell Lake. If you're familiar with that area or it's directly west, about 1.5 miles from Fort Montgomery. That'll give you another uh, reference point. When you register for the event, you will receive an email that'll give you the exact GPS coordinates uh, and everything else that you need to know. Backstory, a US helicopter has crashed and a special forces team has been sent in to extract the bodies. Uh, along with a larger blocking force task force tiger, that's you, uh, has been sent about two miles to the southeast to secure an airstrip and reconnect with the special forces and uh, you know come up with uh, some more fun things after that. Okay, all, all participants must be 18 years and older. That is non-negotiable, that's it. If we find out that you're not, we kick you out. That's about it. All right, the teams. Okay, so you got US forces, so Task Force Tiger, right? Uh, the uniforms are any tan, uh, preferably US camouflages. That also includes uh, multicam standard. And I can hear everybody already. But Zulu doesn't allow multicam. Well, this is a training exercise, so you can wear standard multicam. All right. For the well equipped militia, which is the Op 4 side, and I called them well equipped because I'm okay if I see plate carriers and helmets and stuff, like you're well equipped, right? All right, that's going to be the green team. I don't think I have to explain green, right? So you got your woodland, your marpat, uh, woodland, that type of stuff. You can wear green. Also, if you really want to go above and beyond, you can dress like an insurgent, right? So an insurgent kit is also cool as well. Pyro. Because this is a field training exercise and because of where we're doing it, all tagging products are good to go. And I encourage them. Uh, weapon rules. Okay, so this is kind of easy. Everything's semi-auto only unless you're an internationally recognized support weapon and it has to be belt fed. Okay, rate of fire cap on support weapons is 1200 rounds a minute and no full auto within 50 feet. That's pretty standard stuff. So the minimum engagement distances are the meds. Non-support weapons, so everybody else that's not belt fed uh, has no med and we'll get into the chrono rules here in a second. Support weapons, 50 foot med on full auto fire. Snipers have a 100 foot med uh, and they have to be semi-auto locked or bolt action. To be honest with you guys, the sniper role in this scenario is not really gonna be feasible. Uh, I mean, you can do it. It's, you're not gonna have a good time. Chrono limits, okay, all weapons, 365 with a .25, okay? 365 with a .25. Snipers, 500 feet per second with a 2.5. If your gun chrono is 501 and you want to be a sniper, you will not be able to use it. Make sure you're underneath 500 feet per second. So medic rules. All right, for the U.S. forces and the U.S. forces only, we're going to pick five squad medics uh, the day of. We'll mark them with a red Zulu armband. Those red Zulu armbands are not yours to keep, so please give them back at the end of the FTX, please. And the way it's going to work is every U.S. or uh, Task Force Tiger is gonna have uh, two either Milson West tourniquets or an ace bandage, okay? And that's how the medic gets you back into the game, okay? He ties it off around your arm, you're good to go. You can do that twice with a three minute bleed out in between everything after that. It's gonna be back to the hard respawn. Now, because of where the hard respawn is for the US forces, uh, we might have a couple vehicles available to us. So we might start running the vehicles as Kazivac, that way we're not walking a lot uphill, both ways in the snow. All right, for the well-equipped militia, it's a little bit different for them. Uh, they get a buddy aid rule, same thing, Milson West tourniquet or an ace bandage on the arm. They can do that once and anybody else can medic them, okay? Uh, and then they still have the three minute bleed out and all that type of stuff. Guys, make sure you have, you are prepared for this event. There will be no vendors there. Actually, we can't have vendors there. So you need to have all the air, all the BBs, everything you think you need. I mean, it's only like a one day op, so how much can you really need? All right, but there will be nothing for sale there. All right, the timeline, 08, the AO is open. You cannot show up before 08. You cannot be there at 0759. You can only show up at 08. Uh, from 08 to 930 is gonna be check-in, processing, all that type of stuff. And this is a timeline for the US forces, right? Um, Safety brief will be all part of that. Op4, your timeline's a little bit different, but if you register for Op4, you'll get an email detailing all of that. Uh, 10 o'clock, game's on. And let me say this, 
be on time. It is your job to be on time, it's not mine. I'm already gonna be there. It's your job to be on time. We put a lot of effort into this FTX. You need to show up on time, and I'll tell you this, if you show up, if you show up late, you will not be permitted in. This is not like a regular airsoft game, this is an actual training scenario for some other people. They don't care. Make sure you're on time, all right? Game starts at 10, and we end at six, and shenanigans ensue in between, all right? Guys, what's the whole point of this, right? So we did a great job with Benghazi last year. Uh, they were impressed with us. We did a great cleanup. Everybody was having a great time. There wasn't too much airsofty bullshit. Uh, I want to keep it the same for this one, okay? Don't be that guy who's freaking out because some other guy didn't call his hits and he, oh, I swear to a stack of Bibles, my gut shoots a mile and a half long, and ah, this uh, sucks. Don't be that guy. If you have that type of attitude or if you know somebody in your group that has that attitude and you just don't tell them, maybe don't invite them this time, okay? We're trying to present Airsoft in a positive light in the realm of actual training. That way we can keep this train rolling, all right? So make sure you bring a good attitude and a strong spirit to win the wall. Guys, that's about it. If you have any questions, post them down below. I'm out. <laughs>